Uh, that is so dad. Heard? I couldn't be any more dad. Well, this is almost grand. If I had five more kids, I couldn't be any more dad in that jam. Ooh. Anyway, welcome yeah. back to Anderson's TV. Hello, everybody. So today we're going to give Music Man a bit of love. Uh, if you're not familiar with the Music Man brand, it's a brand that harks back to the 1970s. I think it was What's started by uh, one or two ex-Fender employees. They, uh, Leo Fender was famously involved with some of the early designs. Mm. Uh, but in 1984, uh, Ernie Ball, that you know, amazing string company purchased Music Man and, uh, and have heavily, heavily invested in, in the brand over the years. Yeah. And I do believe now that, you know, the, the American made Music Man range of guitars are some of the finest, finest guitars built on Absolutely. the planet. Um, their artist roster is, I was going to say second to none. It's probably not entirely true, but I think after Fender and Gibson, it's probably the next one. And in terms of the caliber of player they've got, yeah. when you've got guys like Luke and um, Petrucci Lee. and, you know, back in the day, Eddie, Eddie and, you know, yeah, it's yeah. like, it's... It's banging. You know, it's amazing. And they obviously, you know, they've got some modern player, Rabir, um, Jason Richards, Tosin like Abassi, kind of yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. So, I, anyway, I think for me as well, they've got a sort of... Um, they've got a uniqueness about them, uh, which yeah. I always like about guitars. I, I think it's... Sometimes it's just very, you know, you get some guitar brands that build their entire reputation off of just copying other designs. Mm -hmm. um, I think when you look at Music Man, <laughs> Most. you know, yeah, headstock, neck profiles, some of the shapes, I you mean, know, the shapes how adventurous so they are. I think they let yeah. their artists have free hands. Like, look, yeah. look at this, look at the shape. I'm, I have to just yeah. take this and just see which company in the world yeah. make a guitar that'll take a risk on somebody yeah. goes, I would like it to look like this. Yeah. I mean, it's insane. So, Today's video was really just um, color. one of the things, this is this is just exciting for Anderson, so maybe I guess for you as well, but since COVID, there's been quite a limited production coming out of America from um, Music Man, and 2024 looks like the first year that they're really back to sort of full production. Yeah, yeah. So you are going to see more Music Man guitars in Anderson's than we've ever carried before. So again, please swing by the store or check link the links below. out below. So this, today's to video is today. just a noodle of some random guitars. Yeah, yeah. Now there are three original kind of shape, non-artist related guitars in, in the Music Man mm -hmm. uh, catalogue, uh, in the Sabre, the Cutlass and the Stingray. Mm. Obviously, the Stingray well, is probably the most famous bass that Music Man ever made. Love and that again, bass. for bass players, um, yeah got more basses than we've ever had before as well uh, coming oh, really? into the store. Oh really? That's cool. Pete has a sabre here. I have a sabre. have a sabre. You've actually got a sabre? I've got a sabre. You mean a sword or an actual guitar sabre? Which way are we going? I've got here? a sword. I've got <laughs> both, all three I would say. Okay. All three. So tell us about the sabre you've got Mr. Pete. Um, so again you mentioned the neck. I mean the necks they always have absolutely stunning uh, beautiful flame necks right? The neck's always beautiful. The flame it's just stunning all the time. They use this oil on him, so, so it's like a satin finish. It's like a gun oil finish or whatever. It's I don't just know that, feels so again, nice. Um, yeah, there's a, there's a. I don't know if you do the same, but like if ever if ever I'm kind of I don't know a timber merchant or a high end furniture. Sometimes it's just such a tactile thing, isn't it? It's just, a, it's a feel thing. Yeah, same with the neck, the, the width of the neck. It's it's and it's not rounded in a way. It's almost like it's so, it's sort of. S s does that out in your hand, you know. Anyway, ebony uh, board here, really dark, beautiful board. Okume body, Okume Matata, I would say. It it's got no a, <laughs> uh, it's got an Aniko, uh, an Aniko 5 pickup in the uh, bridge and a ceramic in the neck. Has which it? Which is interesting. Five-way selector, tone volume. Uh, f this is flush to the body. It's a trim Love system. Love the trim with the sort of shield over it so yeah, you can rest your hand. It feels so nice. Mm. It's all, one, of, one of my favorite trims, two point. And it's got a, an arch to it as well, you see. So it's yeah. very much like a sort of a super kind of strat, right? Yeah. Flamed, flame, whatever this is. I think it's West, just selected wood or something. Where's a reveal binding? Yeah, I love it. The flame Look top. at that. It looks beautiful. Oh, and a dark. Uh, oh, yeah, that's, I thought it was black, but it's not. Look, it's really dark blue. Love the heel joint. Heel joint just fits in the hand with the five. I mean, if you have a little bit of a, you know, you could, I have one six in there, I can't handle it. So look at five screws. Uh, locking tuners on there, shallows. It's all the best bits, isn't it? So I'm sure they own a patent or a copyright yeah, you, you on, the, on the 4 2. Yeah, nobody can do that. Isn't that They're cool? Yeah, it's very cool. It's a cool headstock. Um, and I think they sold some of the 
problems with the with the you know with the Gibson headstock that they that is so much shorter, so you don't have that. You mean with a Fender headstock? Yeah, right? Fender. No, and, and the Gibson as well. Right. Okay. It's three three. Anyway, it's ever so balanced, isn't it? I mean, I wonder if that's yeah. part of the smaller headstock being slightly less mm. weighty. You get. I don't know. It, feel, it makes me feel home with the small headstock. <laughs> it feel right at home. Uh, let's see what it sounds like anyway. Five way selector switch. Um, Any so just coil splitting on the five way? Well, let's, no... let's find out. Okay. Let's find out. I don't know. Splits it. Middle position, I would assume it's both pick up yep. together. You have to get used to playing the guitars, and the sound is, is, uh, is its own sound, you know what I mean? Glassy, it's very glassy, glassy. Like, isn't glassy. It? Pushing that yes. amp, pushing that amp, man. Sounds great, man. Uh, it's a 10-inch uh, board on this one, so not as flat as as that one. Um, and that was another thing I wanted to mention, but now I can't remember what it was, because <laughs> it's not important then, is it? It's great, man. Should we try a bit of gain? Indeed. Yes, do it. <laughs> That sort of, I'm trying to find a word for what, how it sounds. It's just, it's got its own thing, right? Do you know what I mean? as well once you get into the neck it's more to play if that makes it's, sense it's interesting that they've gone for a quite a big difference between the heat of a neck pickup versus the uh, bridge pickup yeah substantially gainier isn't it oh yes a uh, trussword adjustment here whoop, whoop. easy it's peasy very i mean it's, it's a beautiful if, guitar if you're going to make a guitar, guitar where you are going to mount the pickups direct to the body so you've got no scratch plate or no That's pickup rings task. or whatever you've really got to make sure that your routing is clean your finishing is clean yeah uh, otherwise you, know, are, you can see the mess but the cavities that are is clean. a beautiful guitar it is and it um, plays beautifully and and you know it's it's just wonderful you know what we should do in another wonderful. video soon we should do we should do cutlass versus stingray versus saber as a sort yes. of you know because they're, they're the non-artist kind yeah. of origins of this brand and they, they used to do two back in the day they had two different one with like a 10 inch and one with like seven and a half inch uh, neck so what more one was more like vintage, super and, vintage and high yeah. vintage frets and stuff well, bring that back come on bring that back you know so okay so yeah. that's the same anyway now, love it great uh, the Luke is, uh, you've seen this, you know, uh, Steve Lukather has been a music man artist for many, many years and has gone through, although the body shape has stayed the same, you often see these with either two humbuckers or an HSS set, this is three single coils. Um, the neck has stayed pretty consistent, it is very compact. Um, I don't know that, it's hard to say, I think I have relatively medium sized hands. I think if I had massive hands, maybe I might find this... You have uh, to get used to it, man. Yeah, I might find this too narrow. Uh, things like the strings are perhaps closer to the edge of the fretboard than I might be used to, so I've got to sort of adapt my vibrato technique, particularly perhaps on the, the top E string. Vibrato. I, I do wonder sometimes when you see Music Man artists, is there a sense that once you go Music Man, 
you, you kind of, and you get used to playing them, whether or not that's just, you'll end up sticking with that neck carve and that style of guitar above, you know, Les Pauls or Strats, whatever. Anyway. But there is a solution, for, a lot of solution, but there is, it, repairs is the wider neck. If you, if it's you. It's the only music man that's got that yeah, wide neck. If you're neck. an artist, I guess, and you can just choose what neck model you want, then, then yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, so here we have uh, three single coils. These are Music Man's proprietary HT uh, single coils. We've got a five-way blade. It's all very familiar here. We do have this interesting um, boost circuit built in, which I assume yeah, is active. So uh, with the volume knob pushed in, it's regular. That sounds more sounds more authentic for for searching of a better word. It sounds more like a strat. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's much I mean, more. It's but a still has got it. 12 inch radius, yeah. so it for me it, it, it probably feels flatter than I would normally play it's on like a guitar this pole, like this. It? Yeah, but the, the it's like Pete was saying before, this gun oil treatment they put on these sort of satin roasted maple necks, yeah. it's just, I mean it's like a, it's a real like comfort blanket thing just, it's to, just beautiful. to feel it's it. It feels so um, nice, man. Anyway, come on, let's give you some tones yeah, here. Do you know what adds to the feeling of slinkiness that slinkiness. maybe I'm not used to is it's nines as well. It's a nines think, on I that think one. I would probably go I was tens. tens on that one. Really? Yeah, I, I was think tens these on are, that one. I think these are nines. Oh yeah, that's 25 and a half inch scale length as well. So it's the same uh, so as that this, one. Yeah. Okay. Now I know Luke has used EMGs in the past. These yeah. are just normal, you know, passive pickups. He can use whatever he wants. He can indeed. Got a bit of poke that back pickup, hasn't mm -hmm. it? You don't, you don't want your you don't want your back strap pickup to go too weedy. Um, yeah. I like a bit of poke with the clean the sound. You'll really hear how much boost there is. So is... what you'd use that is almost instead of a drive pedal. So I think during the um, wow during the solo, I had this kind of relatively mild. I'm not doing Play it. No, I'm not doing it. <laughs> what I did have on, I think, in the uh, opening jam was heavy chorus and delay to just give me that 80s. <laughs> There you go. There you go. Oh, if you insist. Hey, it's just going like this. It's a, you know, I know, what Steve going. Lucas is just going like, oh, oh, kill like me now. Another one my that's solo just butchering hacked, my solo. Butchered again. Just terrible. So yeah, look, I, I mean, <laughs> Steve Lucas is, is one of my favorite guitar Absolutely. players of all time. And so I kind of feel like, you know, respect to him for sticking with the Ernie Ball family and the Music Man family. and, and but it's they must a beautiful be treated guitar. well to, st to stick around all it's these artists. It's a proper artists. family. I, mean, you've got, uh, you know, I know I, Sterling and, and yeah, uh, Brian, Brian, the whole Ball family, really do make you feel welcome when you, when yeah. you, when you mean it. Anyway, need to go and, and so see that's the loop. And, and as I said before, you'll see in Andertons, you might see flame top versions, you might see quilt tops, you'll see the two humbucker versions, you'll see the HSS versions. Yeah. Uh, but check them out. I mean, that is now, super, super beautiful guitar. But not as beautiful as this. <laughs> the, the, this is the Kaisen. This... I think in recent years, or in recent, since it comes out, this is my, one of my favorite looking guitars ever. I'm surprised you say that, because I wouldn't, I mean, I think I it's cannot, an interesting looking guitar. I, this color is called Kryptonite. It. It's a great, I mean, if you're going to buy a Lamborghini, that's the color, isn't I, yeah, it? I, I can't tell you what it is about it that just attracts, that's attractive to me. I don't know what it is. It's a, I mean, look at it. It's a 24 fret. Uh, multi-scale neck yeah. with, I mean, I don't know what it is. I, I I'm just saying it, absolutely it, love it. It is the Parker Fly of the 2020s. 
you know, for me, it's like, it's so innovative, just but in look, a sort of a, look. but in a way that, you know, a, a regular guitar player can still play. It's not so heavily fan fretted or, you know, it's only got six strings. Can I just point out that, and that, look at this neck carve here, that bit here, and how absolutely perfectly it's just done. It's a beautiful And guitar. these tuners are really cool. They sort of tune from the back and they lock on the top. Um, I don't know what it is, man. I don't know what it is. Three way selector. Play that Tosin Abassi hamburgers. track you've been learning recently. Yeah, yeah, I've been learning lots of Tosin uh, Abassi tri uh, tricks. I just thought I'd play it. Like, hello, relax. I mean, so, from, but from a from a, a practical perspective, uh, fine. If the if the shape of the guitar is too out there for you, but yeah. again, if you're a guitar player that maybe you've got um, you got bad back, you're just looking for yeah. something that's lighter. Super light. You you really Super want something that's to, to a certain degree. The, the the video I did with Ola Strandberg at, at the um, yeah, that's another one of those guitars that I at the Nam show. Me yeah, for some reason. where where the design is very logically ergonomic. So it, yeah. it, it's it's just about going, well, how would I sit with this and how would I want to play it and da 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 da. And I, I think it's a very clever design. I, mean, I can't do any of that stuff. So you are going to hear blue slicks, I'm afraid. <laughs> uh, but that's the point is in these videos is that, you know, any guitar can do anything. You know, you don't have to be, you know, you can play blue slicks. It's down to pop, can you imagine? And also, this is one pound under four grand. So it's 3999. And actually, if you go and watch, if you go and look at a Fender costume shop, yep. that's going to be more than that. Yep. And everybody's got a Fender Strat or Telecaster. <laughs> not everybody's got this, right? You know what I mean? Not In yet, your collection, anyway. not yet. It sounds great. It's pokey. I really like the sound, and I, the neck is wider, so it's slightly wider than you know. Can we? Yeah, you can. Absolutely. Hang on. Let's can I be? I'm just. Either my eyesight's going here, but is that? Is that a P90 at the front? I'm not sure which it is, actually. I was just slightly, about to ask you. <laughs> uh, it looks slightly narrower than the humbucker at the bridge. It's a mini humbucker. It is a mini humbucker, yeah. is it, at the front? I love mini humbucker. And have you got any coil tappage or anything there? Not at all. So it just sounded like the middle position on the switch maybe was tapped. Again, floss to the body, like I like, that's cool. It's not as pokey as that is. You don't think so? It's less pokey. That sounds good, that mini humbucker, doesn't it? I really like it. It's a great <laughs> it's guitar. A guilty, guilty pleasure, isn't it? Um, kind of thing. Can I just try some games? Yes, on, man. Of I'm into this. I'm just going to tune with these weird tuners here. Interestingly, colours wise, there are some satin coloured, more subtle finishes blacks, white, pastel y kind of colours. There are the, there's that classic kind of Lambo uh, green, uh, and then there's a maybe if we still got it, we'll put a picture on the, the screen one. now. The sparkly one. With two sparkly oh ones. Oh my gosh. Seven, eight, seven strings as well. What was the one that did the me the metal one? that looked like metal that they had a Nam as well. It was like, like a liquid few... metal type. Yeah, thing. Oh, no, I saw amazing. I saw an Instagram clip of that. Yeah, yes. yeah. It looked amazing, yeah. man. It looked just very a, Terminator. A little bit I 
I know it's not the guitar to play this stuff on, but it's great, man. I love it. I Wait, think you, it's amazing. You say that. I think the That's only reason you're saying that is because of the Toes and Abassi thing. If, because, that, yeah. if you look, I was thinking about What's when we were going around the NAMM show. And you see, you saw those brands like Cream Guitars. You might see a brand like the, some of the Cower stuff. Yeah. I don't think any of those shapes are any less uh, unusual than, than the uh, Kaizen. And yet no. you would play blues and rock on those. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. So I, I just think it's, it's, an association it's, it's with the, the artist, artist isn't it? association yeah. that's making you think, oh, oh unless I play crazy technical metal. I know, love this. Have. I think it's I a think, great look, It's a great looking guitar. I mean, um, and this whole thing, the, the intricacies of the yeah. workmanship and I just blow me away man yeah well done i agree anyway okay so over here Sorry. um we Rambling. have got the axes uh <laughs> oh, axes so sport yeah <laughs> i purposely picked this before you got to the last one um now obviously <laughs> the the van halen uh connection was you know between pv and music man and then obviously ultimately his own evh brand this uh shape uh became pretty synonymous with eddie um the similarities, I guess, to the rest of the Music Man range is you've still got this very compact feeling neck here. Uh, we've got two humbuckers, a slab body, kind of an interesting shape, really. I suppose it's sort of a hybrid Les Paul Telecaster type shape. Probably, if anything, feels more compact than those. Has a slightly more familiar radius for me, so it's a 10 inch radius rather than the, the 12 on the Luke. It, it might be a just might just be uh, the way this is set up whatever but it does feel marginally wide in fact it feels like it wants to go wider up to the 12 than it than perhaps the, i think the, the neck is fatter um so I, i'm finding this perhaps again a little bit more familiar for me a couple of demarzio pickups here again full spec is uh in the uh links below doesn't look like i can what have i got i've got a five-way blade here but again no pushy pulley and we've got a very similar trim system but with more modern saddles on the axis than are on the loop. Uh, let's have a little listen. Okay, I do remember this about Van Halen. He, the, the trem is flat to the body, yeah. so we can dive bomb, but there's, there's no up pull. So it doesn't have that floating um, sound and feel that the uh, Luke. the Luke, Luke. has. But... My, I've got to be honest with you, my two favourite settings on here are just full neck or full bridge. Yeah. I kind of... Maybe I'd have to think, I'd have to add some pedals, maybe some compression or something to fatten those yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, split agree. sounds up. Maybe, maybe if I... Yeah, a little bit of compression. It should just be a three ways. Um, I mean, again... <laughs> I'm not even going to try and play any eddy stuff, but let's see if we can oh, get a on. sort of an eddy-ish sound. And then I'll try to play some Victoria yeah. stuff. That's a it's good sound. So, it's so slinky. That's I can't. A great sound. Man. Again, I think if you're a. Uh, if you're a guitar player that maybe has, you know, got a Strat or a, particularly, I think, a Strat and you're just feeling like you like it, but it just feels like it's fighting you too much. Yeah. Try a Music Man. I wonder if that's where you'll find your solace, you know. What are the, what is are the pedals together? What is that? Uh, the Dane so that and a, is a, a Dane wampa. and a, a Wampler Tumnus. Wow. So the Tumnus I'm using, well, I can show you. So Dane on its own is just a good... Actually, I've got the compressor on as well. So this is just the Dane. Compression, just, again, pretty mild. And then the Tumnus is what just gives it that... That's what it does. Uh, nice. Again, I had a little bit of delay as... Well. 
Do you know what? I would oh. have to say, even though stylistically I would probably aspire to play more like Luke than I would to play like Eddie, and that's just a personal choice, yeah, yeah. both amazing guitar players. Absolutely. I actually think I prefer the feel of the axes. It seems uh, a bit fatter to me, that neck. It does. Yeah. I mean, look at that. Oh, no. You could just stare at that all day. And I you? like the perloid tuners. Yeah. That's what I put on my. I love that. That's just such a beautiful extra little, um, little twist. I'm trying to think if are there different pickup variants of a Super Sport or are they always two humbucker? No, Let's have a little look. All on the Anderson's website anyway appears to just be two humbucker. Oh, do you remember? Oh, that's just. Ignore me. So, he's can up. I just get on with this? I'm sorry. Because. <laughs> yes. Because I don't know. Can we just say. If you want to know anything about the specs on this, please check the links below. And I, I, I well, something like got, Dream, Dreamcatcher and uh, Well, you've and got a mix, Rainmaker. haven't you, of piezo settings, yeah. magnetic pickups, the boost, uh, holy mother one, two, of three, One, two, three, dude, I mean. Show him the back, Pete. Uh, I think, yeah, and you've got, you've got things that you can adjust in here. <laughs> I think you have to go and watch the, the <laughs> video, the interview you did with John when he was here, when he was talking about the guitar. I mean, it's, it's a magnificent, true. majestic, some might say. Maybe they would. They would guitar. say that. I mean, the a way great that shout. We're going to hear Pete playing, but 100%. In fact, I'm just going to throw this out there to the editors. Why not go and get a 20 second clip from the video I did yeah, with let's John? Do that. He's playing the full uh, video of that. I just remember in that video, it was two and maybe even three hours long, and we both got to the end of the video, and I put the guitar down, and it was a race between me and John as to who could get no, to the toilet No, you stopped in first. the middle. I said you know, stopped in uh, the middle and just, the end of it. it I we, both, to... we were both like, wow, I'm so yeah. glad we've two, taken a break here. Two old men, yes. and neither we. <laughs> but it, was so, it just flowed. It was such a great conversation. Anyway, I don't know. Oh, wow. That's big. That's huge. There's a bit of delay on there. So there's your piezo, yeah. or you can have uh, the, the two together. So that's and, the guitar on its own. Yeah, and I wow. think the uh, output jack is a stereo cable, so if you want to split it and have the piezo into the PA or something, you can. Pokey, there's so much in it. Just like John would play, he would play. Uh... You know uh, what, as well, for all you Petrucci fans in the UK out there, uh, the Boogie stuff is going to be available in the UK, including John's yeah. signature Boogie head, uh, from about April 2024. Really? So, yeah, start saving. <laughs> start saving up, start saving up. Okay, so that's very pokey. <laughs> That's too loud. We we we're, we're clipping the. Uh... Oh, it's interesting. I love this. Put it in the middle position. See if it does something. Oh, hang. On. Let me just blend.
does something in the middle there. I love you get these. Well, that's the from piezo, the acoustic, thing, yeah. Isn't it? yeah. What a guitar. If anything, that's a pl that's a I actually think that I've, I've be, never really played one before, you know. I'd be more inclined to play my style of you know, music <laughs> yeah. on the Kaizen than I would on the Petrucci. I almost what? feel the Petrucci for me makes me sort of go, Don't I've really got to want to do that whole dream theatre progressive that, thing. Yeah, you want. Well, he plays blue slicks, doesn't he? <laughs> 20 more frets, mate. What? Uh, I mean, they're just... John Petrucci, live at the Regal. <laughs> there it was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It sounds well, amazing, though. It's, like I it's said, great this, this, this was really... Th th we've just decided to do this video because it, we're just It was excited. only for a bit of fun, right? We're just, yeah, we're just yeah. excited about uh, all the Music Man guitars that are coming to Anderson's in 2024. Uh, and y you should try them. You know, we're... This, this uh, just blows me away, yeah. this thing. Come I don't on, know what it let's, is. Let's uh, quick jam out. And uh, what did you open on? This. No, that. Th that. Well, yeah. Yeah, there you go. you got to go on that yeah, and, and that. I'll stay with this. I don't know what we're going to do about but I, Oh, maybe we can do some uh, a little loop with some... Uh... That was quite cool. Was you don't cool, think you could do that? No, yeah, we can do that. Anyway, let's but see what we can do. I do agree. With. Loop with that, with the acoustic thing. And yeah. then Absolutely. solo with... Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Please like, subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you soon. Goodbye.